Hey guys, I'm Jessie and today I am going to be going over my quarter one exploding TBR and we're going to be talking about all of the books, the ones that I read and ended up loving and plan to continue the series, the ones that I DNF'd and will be unhauling, as well as the few that I literally looked at and I was like, you know what, I just don't want to. And those will also be on So we're going to start out with the one that I am actually not finished with yet, but do plan to finish. I'm just not quite there yet, but I still wanted to go ahead and do this because I'm pretty sure I already know my thoughts on it. And that is There Will Come a Darkness. I started this the other day. I'm about 200 pages in, so I'm almost halfway and I'm liking it. I'm not loving it. I'm not disliking it enough to DNF though, and I will be finishing it, but I am not sold on keeping it and finishing the series. Now, the end could absolutely blow me away and I'd be like, yes, and I will update you if that is the case. But at this current time, it seems like it's just gonna be a good read. I'm gonna finish this book and then pass it on because I'm still not sold. Right? Like I'm liking it, but I'm not loving it. And the whole point of this experiment is to make sure I really love the books that are on my shelves and that I really, really want to continue with and to just get rid of stuff. And if I finish this and I'm not blown away by the end, then this will be also going in the gift to my niece on Hall Pile. Next, we have one that I did a full review on, and that is The Princess Will Save You. And I did like this, but again, I did not love it. I had quite a few issues with it, especially since it is based very, very heavily on The Princess Bride, which I adore. The Princess Bride, I've seen the movie a million times. Like, I love it. Um, I didn't love it. <laughs> I liked it, but I didn't love it. I had some issues. You can check out that full review if you wanna see like all of my coherent thoughts, cause right now I'm just kind of rambly. But yeah, it was either too much or not enough like the original at certain points. Like some of the characters, like they were exact. Like we had the six fingered man, we had Prince Humperdinck, like, and you could very, very easily see. And like, there were moments where like, you really expected like, dude to be called Wesley and Princess Buttercup. And like, it was good, but I don't think I want to finish the series, so this is going to be unhauled. Next, we have another one that I didn't finish, and uh, this is And I Darken, and this is a one that I'm just going to continue to DNF. Um, I've been thinking about it. I didn't hate it, but I wasn't loving it, and I got super bored near the middle. I'm about 200 pages in as well, and while the beginning really hooked me, the middle has me so bored, and I'm just like, I'm just not interested enough and these characters to continue on. They are morally gray and our main character is definitely an unlikable protagonist. She is definitely, you know, supposed to be the female Vlad the Impaler. And it's very much an origin story in this book. There's a lot of like telling and a lot of origin story. So I feel like I'm just not feeling it. And because of that, this is going into the unhow. And I own the sequel, so, so because I didn't want to finish reading it, I'm also unhauling the sequel. Next up is one that I looked at and just decided it's just going straight to unhaul. I don't want to even try, and that's American Royals. Um, I picked this up like super cheap. So American Royals is one I just decided is not for me. I am going to unhaul this. I'm not even going to try. It's alternate history, which I tend to like, but it's more contemporary alternate history, romance-y, and honestly, I'm just have no desire to pick this up. Every time I looked at it, I was like, oh, they don't, I don't want to. So this is gonna go to another new home. Then we have Scarlet, which I really, really liked. Yay, we found one I liked. Um, I, I loved this one, honestly. It was so much fun. It read super fast. This is the second book in the Lunar Chronicles. I have the rest of the series. I will not be unhauling them, so I'm gonna finish reading them. But there's a caveat, there's a but. I will be unhauling the whole series after I finish it. Because while I am really liking it and I wanna see it to the end and read it all, there's two things. One, I don't think I'd ever reread them, right? It's not one where I can see myself re 
Woo! Rereading it in the future. Also, it's very young. This is very young YA. And while I don't have an issue with that, honestly, I've talked about like my ratings kind of in the past and like the way I tier my ratings, like I'm not as harsh on YA, I'm not as harsh on young YA, middle grade as I am on like adult and like older YA. But honestly, I, I don't think I'll reread it because it is very young. But I honestly think that my like 12, 13 year old niece will love this. So like, I'm excited to give it to her. So for now, we're keeping it, but eventually we will unhaul the whole series, but unhaul it to a nice new home with a niece that I think will love it. Another one that I've decided I'm just not even going to try. And every time I looked at it, I was like, meh. And that is The Coldest Touch. This is actually the, I think, fairy loot uh, edition that came in one of my fairy loot boxes. It is a paranormal romance and I'm just, it's not my genre and I just wasn't very interested in a vampire romance. So it's just gonna go directly to Unhaul. Next up, y'all, we're clearing through these books, just like powering through, right? Uh, next up is Aurora Rising and this is also a DNF. Um, I didn't love it. I wasn't hating it, but there were so many issues I was having with it. Like I didn't like the dialogue. I found it very cheesy. And I honestly think that having this be my like second Kristoff book, maybe he's just not for me, even with, you know, having a co-author, maybe he's just not for me because this book has everything that I should like. I love YA sci-fi with snarky characters and banter and like a group of misfits. Like I loved the disasters, but I could not get into this. And you would think liking one, you would like the other. Not me, apparently. So this is also going straight to the unhaul. We're just DNF and everything. Uh, Spellbook of the Lost and Found. This is another DNF. I think I made it 20 pages and I was just bored. It felt very young, not for me. And I wasn't interested. And it's like the writing tried to be flowery and it just fell flat to me. And I just, it just, I don't know. I can't even really tell you what this book is about because I didn't even make it that far before I was like, I don't want to. And I was at that point of, I don't want to gone by. Sorry. So I'm being harsh. I'm being ruthless. Maybe it gets better, but not for me. But you know, it wasn't all bad. Uh, I read a clockwork angel with no dust jacket. And I really, really liked I didn't have high hopes for this one because I didn't love the Mortal Instruments. Um, I actually unhauled the Mortal Instruments, like the whole six book series after I read it. And I just, I didn't have high hopes, but y'all, I was hooked. I think just the Victorian setting and I liked the characters so much better. And I think the things that I didn't like in the Mortal Instruments, the insta-love and the weird brother, sister, not brother, sister, weird dynamic thing that really bothered me. That's not here. <laughs> it's not in here. Like you can tell there's like a little bit of a forming of a love triangle, but I didn't hate it. Didn't hate it. And there's also like, not really insta love, but like insta attraction, which is fine because you find yourself instantly attracted to someone, but not like falling in love with them. Like you're going to protect them with your life. So like, I liked how that was handled. And I really, really liked this one so much better than The Mortal Instruments. So I will be keeping this one. I have both other books on my shelf and I will be finishing the series. And then finally, another one that was a positive is A Curse So Dark and Lonely. Again, this is what I didn't have high hopes for because it's Beauty and the Beast retelling. And Beauty and the Beast is one of my least favorite Disney stories, but I really enjoyed this. I will say it falls on the younger end of YA which is fine, obviously, but I had so much fun. I loved our characters. Harper was fantastic. I love how they made her this really strong, independent character. And she has cerebral palsy, but she goes through the book telling people, there's nothing wrong with me. I'm not broken. This is just how I am. Like, you know, it's, it's nothing you need to fix. I don't need to be fixed. And I loved seeing that. I thought it was really well done. I also really loved The Prince and I really loved Grey and I'm excited to see the other one and read the rest of the books in the series. I do own the second book 
So I will be reading that at some point soon. So after this whole uh, exploding TBR experiment for quarter one, I am getting rid of six books, probably seven, because I think um, There Will Come a Darkness is just going to, I'm going to finish it, but then I'm going to unhaul it. And that leaves me keeping three out of the 10 books. So that clears up seven slots on my shelf for books that I really love because this is all the space I got. I don't have more space. There is no expanding it. I did just move my middle grade books out into my living room so my daughter can have uh, easy access to them. So that also cleared up a little bit of room, but like not a ton. So yeah, that is what we're doing. I'm really happy with how this went. I'm happy that I achieved my goal of reading all 10 books in three months. And I mean, the DNFs and stuff count. I'm happy that I've decided to get rid of the ones that I didn't start. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this went. Technically, I'm only keeping two books because I will be unhauling Scarlet. Just not yet until I finish the series because I do like it. But all in all, I think this was a good experiment and it really helped me um, learn my reading test more and just get rid of stuff that I don't want and keep stuff that I really do want curated on my shelf. All right, well, this was a lot of fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and be sure to stay tuned for my quarter two exploding TBR because that will be coming shortly. Have a good one, guys. Bye.